Uh, hey, it's me. I spent a lot of time in Spec Up Survival trying to rank up the new guns because uh, there's currently a thing right now where you can unlock the new guns in multiplayer and then use them in Spec Up Survival and rank them up as normal. So I spent a lot of time using my uh, double XP tokens, my double weapon XP tokens rather, and uh, I actually have both of the guns uh, maxed out completely. So I don't know if that means that when the new guns do come to the multiplayer, I have to re-unlock them and re-rank them up, or my will just be ranked up from the start to begin with. If that's the case, then I could have those two guns maxed out with Damascus super quick. But for right now, I can really only show them off in survival. Uh, I'm gonna start with the Makarov. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this uh, Makarov first. So this is the new Psykov or the Makarov. Uh, I think it looks really cool. It's got a nice little sleek design. So um, from using this uh, thing in survival, uh, this Makarov is very similar to the Renetti and the 1911 in terms of uh, like recoil damage output. Like it's got some really like simple simple recoil to control. It's got like the damage of the 1911 and like with like recoil control similar to the Renetti. And uh, it's got decent magazine size to be right now. I love the the 1911 in this game, mainly for Akimbo. I think the Akimbo versions of the 1911 are really good, but I think this gun will probably overtake that for me because it's kind of got the same damage output and it's got uh, five more shots starting out. We go into the gunsmith over here. Uh, so we got a lot to go for. So it has a 20 round mag and an 80 round mag, which is the 80 round mag is insane. It's hilarious. Uh, we got normal grips here. Uh, so we have these two stocks, kind of similar to the Renetti where you could uh, really like control the recoil if you want, especially with that full auto barrel that this gun has. I'll get that, I'll get to the full auto barrel in a minute. Like it's super easy to control the, this gun's recoil, especially with no attachment. This would be one of the easier uh, kills with no attachment guns. I would definitely say. I'm gonna get the 80 round mags first. Just look how ridiculous <laughs> this uh, 80 round mag looks on this gun. It's, it's fucking stupid, it's hilarious. I'm not exactly sure what the real life counterpart is. I was doing some research and there was a. Uh, I forgot what the name of the gun was. Hey, uh, future Colvino here. Uh, so the name of the pistol in the real life, at least, it's called the Stechkin Automatic Pistol. If you wanted to know or whatever. So you can just pretty much just keep on firing forever with this thing. Like, you can just keep going and going and going and going. It's nuts. The other thing about this macro is got like some super really tight hit fire, which is really nice. Uh, the pistols usually have a nice hit fire, but this especially is not is uh, pretty good. So let me get this. Uh, let me get this full auto barrel here. So yeah, so this full auto barrel is insane. Like, look at this shit. Let me show you the recoil control real quick. So this is what it is. So like if you keep firing forever, it has some pretty nasty vertical recoil, but I feel like it's pretty easy to control because it's low caliber and it's a pistol, so like it's kind of easy to control, but it, it shreds through people. What I was very surprised by is that the fire rate is insanely fast. Like I, I don't know the exact fire rate, but it is really quick. And everything else by the, is kind of standard, but uh, it does also have these uh, these stocks right here. So like you can put on this stock. And then like uh, like a tack laser, and then maybe like a like a monolithic suppressor, and you have yourself a, a pretty decent pocket AR. Like uh, so, the, the thing with this stock is obviously your movement speed gets really affected. But even with the stock and monolithic suppressor and the 80 round mag, the ADS speed is pretty decent still. Like this this is very formidable as kind of just a, a primary. Like, it's very easy to control the recoil, especially with that stock. And, uh, I can definitely see this gun being, a, like, a meta changer as, like, a secondary. If you're not using overkill. Like, this might make more people inclined to kind of drift away from overkill and, uh, use this. Let me move on to the, uh, the CX-9 here. The CX-9, uh, so this is what it looks like. It's, uh, pretty decent. Uh, it's very similar to the ISO in a way, this low starting ammo, and uh, it's got really quick handling and a really quick movement speed. It's very mobile, very quick uh, ADS speed with no attachments on. So this is the recoil real quick. Like it's, it's 
bear, there's not a lot of recoil to manage on this thing. I figure it's probably gonna be very similar to like the ISO Fennec, where it's like super good up close and uh, like over range, it might get a little difficult. I just went down. Uh, so let me go to the gunsmith real quick while I have time. So uh, the thing that's about this uh, CX-9 is that it's got like a lot of customization, especially in the barrels. So there's a lot of barrels here. So this one's like kind of just your average uh, damage range bullet velocity recoil control, kind of give it a little more range. But then you have this one, monolithic barrel, but I'll use it for this round. But it's like a monolithic barrel, but it's a shorter barrel for ADS speed. Bullet velocity is a little less, but uh, it's a good way to like keep your uh, gun suppressed and uh, still maintain that ADS speed. So this is uh, the ammunition, it's got a 30 round. This is actually a, a three round burst hollow instead of the two round burst like normal. And then it's got a 50 round drum. I think the 50 round drum is probably gonna be the go-to. Uh, so unlike the ISO, uh, the 50 round mag doesn't decrease your movement speed that much. Like it's actually still relatively decent and uh, it doesn't really affect the uh, ADS speed that much. I mean, granted I do have the short barrel on and nothing else. So, uh, so then it actually has uh, this short barrel. So this uh, has ADS speed and movement speed, but it has a built-in uh, foregrip. So uh, this is also a really good one where uh, you get the ADS speed and the movement speed, but you get some uh, included recoil control, which is kind of a unique thing. So like you don't have to use like a commando or a merc foregrip or whatever. Like you see, like the, the recoil control is actually really good. Like it's, like this, this gun didn't have a lot of recoil to begin with. But I think uh, this makes it a lot better. I, I, I can see this attachment being used very formidably because uh, you don't have to worry about controlling that recoil as much. And I feel like if you pair this with like a rubberized grip tape, like the thing will be a super good melt machine up close. So you see here, so it has the standard lasers here, uh, standard perks. Uh, the barrel is where it usually gets its all uh, its customization. So it has this one. So this one is like the maximum amount, and this one's kind of like the middle ground. So this one, I think, I think this barrel right here is going to be the best one. The, this is very similar to the uh, the nightshade barrel that the ISO has. So it does like, and you see the ADS speed is uh, kind of the ADS speed is a little bit. This barrel does give a good hit to ADS speed and movement speed, but. The bullet velocity and the recoil control is nuts. Greatly incre increases it, which is like very important, especially in a multiplayer like Modern Warfare, where the maps are like a little bigger. So this is the build that I was using for the most part. Uh, it doesn't really need it under barrel because the general recoil control that this gun has with this barrel is good enough. And the, uh, the clutch grip is actually a very good a choice for this gun. Yeah, you see how easy it is to manage this gun's recoil? some builds that I have like I like to throw in this barrel with uh I got like a GI mini reflex uh because the iron sights are decent I'm a, I'm a fan of them but uh sometimes like it can get they can get a little uh like a little blocky especially if you're using it for like mo mobility and uh, the muzzle flash is insane so a flash guard might actually be a little better on this thing if you're using it So uh, they also have this, so this gun also has that uh, conversion kit, three round burst, kind of like how the Fennec and the Striker have. Uh, and it's actually pretty decent. The, the burst is super quick and the damage is pretty nice. And uh, I feel like if you pair it with this uh, barrel, it might be really formidable in multiplayer. I can see this gun being good in like solos and duos. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, like you see, like even for like the, the guys with the, the scaled health, like it puts them down really quick and the hollow point rounds are always have been really good it's just that it's kind of tough to use them if you don't have sleight of hand but like if i want to use this uh like an optic or whatever like instead of foregoing a uh commando foregrip instead i'll put on a tack laser and uh, i'll put on this uh this tack grip because uh, then like once you do this ads speed is still super nice and the hip fire is super tight uh like naturally so like, if I I think I can see like uh, making like a uh, a hit fire build and like, super nice. Uh, I'll save up enough cash and I'll make it. But I can see like this being a go-to build for me with the way I like to play. That like lock-on aim like it does in the campaign, and you can't turn it off, which is 
really annoying. Or at least I can't find the option for it. But you see how like it like it's like super accurate. And like the, the bullet velocity is super nice with this barrel. I can totally see this gun being a go-to in the multiplayer. Like for hip fire, what I think, uh, I think I might use this barrel, take this off, uh, keep the 50 round on. I'll do this, take out this tack grip, this, and then maybe uh, like this. I can totally see this. Like, look how tight that hip fire is. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that you can do with this gun, and like, there's gonna be a lot of like unique builds that you can make. This hip fire is super tight, and like, even just walking, like, it's super, it's super tiny. Like, look how tight this hip fire is. You can see this rivaling the uh, the MP7 and the Uzi for like quick fires. Like you can always build a, a lot of these games in this game and be really good at hip firing, but this one especially I think is gonna take the cake. Yeah, the iron sights. So when you're building it out really short, uh, you see like these iron sights aren't that good, and like the muzzle flash and like the it gets insane, like really tough to see. So now I'm just gonna do like my uh, like my go-to setup. So for this, definitely this full auto barrel, definitely this. Uh, so when you put the tack laser on, uh, I'm gonna put on this uh, this this barrel right here, this recoil control one. And then a monolithic suppressor. It's super quick, especially with this tag laser. You no, know, when you have this recoil control on, like, non-existent, non-existent recoil. This is probably going to be my go-to setup. I can totally see this being my go-to build. Uh, this nightshade barrel, uh, these attachments right here. Uh, with the tack laser and a commando core I can totally see this being my go-to setup for this game. Uh, this is probably the most I've had success with. This is the set setup that I have mostly. I can see totally this being. Uh, I This scorpion, uh, I don't see this being meta shifting, uh, but I do see it being a nice addition to the game. However, this Makarov, I think this will be these pe the people's go-to uh, secondary for Modern Warfare multiplayer, especially. Mainly just because of how like insane the potential is for this gun. Uh, you, I, I can see this gun being used all the time. So yeah, those are the two new guns coming to the Modern Warfare. I can see these guns being relatively big additions to the game. Uh, I think they might shift the multiplayer a little bit, especially that pistol. I can totally see the Scorpion overtaking like the ISO, the Fennec. That pistol, I think, is definitely going to take over the Renetti for like the more formidable option. If you like the video, leave a like on the video. It really helps me out. And if you feel like it, definitely subscribe to the channel, man. I try to upload as much as I can. I play a lot of Modern Warfare, so if you're a big Modern Warfare guy, like like I am, you're definitely going to want to subscribe to this channel. Anyway, uh, it's been Colvino, guys. I greatly appreciate you guys watching. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Take care. See you.